What's up, YouTube? Paul coming at you. So I just watched Jay's uh, video about what's the spiciest thing you ever ate. It got me thinking about my not too far off stupid times. I guess I'm probably still in them. I'm only 22. But, uh, when I used to just eat whatever to show manliness. So mine is more of an accident, the spiciest thing I've ever eaten. I was uh, 14 years old, working at a deli in uh, Denver, Colorado. Team working at a deli, right? And some of the older guys there, you know, maybe they were like 22 or 23. They were, um, the hell? They were, um, just, you know, like the cooks who had access to certain things. Like, come up and they hand me this pepper that's about this big, an orange, and, um, it's a habanero, right? I've never seen one before. What the hell is going on over here? I've never seen a habanero before, and it looks pretty harmless when you look at it. It's just orange. It looks like a little cherry tomato. But uh, oh man, it was like midday. And they hand me this thing. They're like, "Oh yeah, this is pretty tasty." You know, some of us had it. We just thought maybe you'd like to try it. And I was like, "Oh yeah, sure." Just pop it in my mouth, start eating, and like immediately, it is like flames are coming out of my eyes. It is so powerful that I run, I'm like going around looking at things and I like put some water on it, it just makes it even worse. Like don't drink water, it's worse for you. So I was like, okay. So I end up standing outside in the back where all the smokers are at, hands on knees, just leaning down with my mouth open and breathing like the cold air in, just drooling from my mouth because I couldn't swallow because it was too hot. So everyone's laughing at me, you know, in the crowd and then they finally get the kindness in their heart to come and help me. And so one of them, tries to go and find some milk. And the whole time just sitting there like, oh, there's saliva everywhere. And uh, some of them finds me some milk. I drink some of the milk, makes it a little better, but still. So the rest of the time, like at work, I'm sitting there like doing my job, just trying not to swallow anything or, oh, it's just terrible. That's probably the hottest thing. And it's probably just hotter because it was such a surprise. I didn't know going into it that I was about to experience this level of heat. But yeah, if you ever get shown a habanero and it's little and orange, don't eat it. Hey, you do. All right, guys. Also, I got some new tobacco as well. Some Peter Stuckerby Highland Whiskey Tobacco. Everybody's talking about Frog Morton, right? Which I've never had, or I mean, I've seen it before, but I only seen Frog Morton on the town. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to try all these, and I have no idea what the difference would be. So I got Frog Morton, Frog Morton on the Bayou, and Frog Morton on the town. So I'm just going to kind of leave these until I finish up my other tobacco supplies, which is the most I've ever had. Let me show you here. That's my mystery mix. It's probably got about seven different tobaccos in there. Haif and Haif. There's a uh, Cornell and Deal, Billy Bud. I uh, 
just added this to my mystery mix. And that's that, guys. So with that, I'm out. Um, all right, see you later.